Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. On the last episode, we completed the first trial. Uh, now, in this episode, I'm going to kind of show you guys what this water dragon scale does. Um, see, now you can see I can actually go underwater. And um, you can swim now underwater. And what's, it's kind of a weird control. Stupid amber relic, who cares? Because um, you actually steer with your Wii remote while holding A, which is different. You know, usually you're steering with your um, control stick. And you can see there, too, if you um, shake your nunchuck, you actually do a spin move in the water. And that make, it also makes you lose stamina, though. Like, your water meter acts exactly like your stamina meter does. Um, those bubbles that you've seen coming up, you can actually get those to um, recover your, uh, your stamina meter or your water meter. And that'll be important later out of the game. All right, so now we're in kind of a new area. Well, not kind of. We are in a new area. Um, this part kind of sucks. But we're inside the Deku Tree. Oh, just kidding. It is the Great Tree, but it's not quite the Deku Tree. But um, this this is pretty easy. Um, the only thing I just don't like about this is well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't mind this part, but it does get kind of annoying. Um, now what you have to do here, that you get out your gust bellows. You gotta blow yourself back so you get enough speed to actually jump onto that platform. That should be good enough. Oh god. No, don't jump off. Probably be a good idea to get rid of the jelly f or the, the blowfish too. Let's see if we can get him to come at us here. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you only blow yourself back when you're going backwards like that. You don't want to continuously have your gust bellows on. What the hell is going on, Link? Why aren't you jumping? Suck it. Stop. Stop. There we go. Alright, now let's do the same thing here. One more time. Go away. I don't like you fishies. Pretty easy, but can be kind of an annoyance. All right, so now we're on top of this this big old tree here. Um, you can actually see there's a goddess cube right down there. Um, you know we're gonna jump to it right now and get it. I think you can get this another way, but that's how we're gonna do it. So we are going to have to go back and redo what we just did, but oh well. For a goddess cube, I will uh, definitely take the time to do that. So yeah, now we got to go back and... Oh, I should have waited. Um, it might not actually be a bad idea to wait. Monster claw anywhere? Of course not. Um, ooh, there's a blue bird, though. The only reason I say it might be a good idea to wait is because there's actually a bird statue that you can get that's on top of that tree um, and it'll allow you just to warp up there after a while so okay let's grab this blue birdie no I don't want that one I want the blue one gotcha wonder how many blue bird feathers that is now three okay it's not bad now well, let's get back in here Hey, where did that amber relic go? Wasn't there an amber relic there before? Could have swore there was, and I missed it. Oh well, not that it matters. Let's see if we can get some of those bubbles this time. Maybe, maybe. Oh, too bad. Make sure you don't use all your stamina doing that spin attack. I have a tendency to try to do it quite often because it's fast. Yeah, there we go. Swimming's kind of slow. Another thing you can actually do on this game is jump out of the water like that. Um, and that should refill your stamina. If you do it right like that, you can actually just get right up here. Not even have to jump on those vines. Okay. At least that moblin's gone. I have to do it one more time just to be safe. 
Get out of here. Aha, you prick. Get out. That should be good enough. Okay, so back to where we were now. Um, there's actually one more goddess cube we're going to have to jump down to at some point. Um, I can't remember exactly where it is, but I don't think we can do it until we get closer up to the top. So, Oh, there's another blue birdie. Oh, birdie birdie. Come here. Come here, little blue birdie. I don't want you. I just want you feather. Thank you. Um, there's birds all over the place up here, so if you're running, if you haven't gotten any bird feathers or blue ones, this is a great place to grind for them. Is there, is there spiders up this thing? A lot, a lot of these vines, they put spiders. You can kill them if you want. They're, they're actually pretty easy to dodge, as you can see there. They're not like the ones on, uh, Ocarina of Time that were just a huge pain in the butt, because they knock you down. Okay, is that goddess cube down here? Nope, that must have been the one that we just got. So let's continue. Peace. Oh, let uh, let go. <laughs> There's another blue bird. Oh well. Um, crap. If you get these things, just grab out your net and just literally start swinging it. There we go, we got a, a Deku Hornet. Um, these things, are ba honestly, they're pointless. I mean, don't even... You can catch one just to have your inventory full of your bugs. But they literally, they sell for a, a penny. Or, yeah, like one, one rupee. They sell for a rupee. Um, and they're really not good for anything. Now, let's do what I wanted to do this time. If you want to knock that thing down. It'd be nice if we could get ourselves another hornet larvae here. Grab out your bug catching net. And just start waving her around. Okay, where the hell did that hornet larvae go? Go down here? Oh, it's gone. Didn't stay very long, did it? Oh, that's okay. Because there are, like I said before, there's a place we can grind for them. So we're not not too worried about that, but I do want to get one because they're I do want to get that upgrade. Um, you can take those guys out if you want. I, in fact, I think I'm going to just because why not? Usually at this point in the game, I've already got the scatter shot. I'm a little behind on my upgrading. It seems from what I normally am. Could be because um, I know a lot of people have issues finding monster claws and ornamental skulls, and I'd really never had that much of an issue with them until it seems this this playthrough. I'm kind of not getting very many. So let's see now. There's there's that other goddess cube. Ah, let's not do it yet. So where are we now? Okay, so I can't remember if this is a new enemy or not. Um. They look big and they look strong, but really you can just do this. You can uh, you can run right past them, or you can when he puts his shield out like that. If you wait for him to put his shield right in front of him, you can actually parkour over his shield and get behind him and slash him. And finally, we made it up to the great tree bird statues. Make sure you interact with that one because you don't want to have to come down here or come all the way back up here again, um, especially once we do this goddess cube thing. It's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, this bastard. I actually want to say that the enemies in here have gotten harder, too. Um, I think the red ones are the, the easier ones, and the blue ones are a little stronger. I can't confirm that or anything, but I, I think that's how it is. Because it seems like it takes... You can kind of tell it takes longer to kill some of the other ones. Like, you have to knock them down and then finish them as well. No monster claws, you're killing me. No, I want you to kill you on this side, so if you have a monster claw, I can... uh, whatever. I think this is where you actually have to jump down to get the uh, goddess cube. Uh, maybe not. I'll mark it with a beacon before we do it. I'll look it up just to be safe. Oh, what do you want? Hear what? 
Oh, hey, there's a bug here. The hell is that noise? Top of the tree. Um, here they kind of show you where exactly it is that you're going to be going. Or you can look around anyway if you'd like. What the hell's that thing? It's got dreads. It's a real hippie. So we, this guy can snore so loud that you can hear it through the whole woods. Wow. Can you imagine sleeping next to something that snored that bad? Holy crap. It'd be nice if we could land where this god is cute. No! Oh my god, that sucks so bad. Oh yeah, I got an amber relic. Well, that's a fucking sweet thing. Ugh, that's such a pain. Okay, well, I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, guys, uh, we're back up here on the top of the tree. And um, I did a couple things off screen while on my way up here. I actually got another um, hornet's larvae and um, a blue bird feather. And I also marked where this is, um, where that goddess cube statue is. I'll show you on the map here quick. It's right here. It's right on this platform right here. So we're actually going to be jumping off and hopefully getting that on our way back down. Um, I'm not quite up to the top of the tree here, but... Figured I would just start here. Why not? Close enough, right? So let's just get back up here. Now we want to want to make sure you talk to this elder guy before you jump off. Um, what you got to do? You got to wake him up. I think you can hit him with your beetle. I just like to use the slingshot and just hit him with one of my nuts. Just teabagged him. Who's it? I'm napping. Oh, I can see that. I hate how he says who's it to it. I don't know. It just drives me insane. A real life human. Yerbal? Yerbal the turtle? Now I'm just the old Kiki hermit. Well, you got a bunch of sweet names, don't you? Can you really see me? Sure can, buddy. Slap yourself on the back. Now you don't really blend in that way, dude. You've got dreads and a huge ass mustachio. So, I want the flame. <laughs> it's kind of funny that you mentioned that the flame is actually a, a nightclub around here. Um, it's actually a really popular nightclub, too. Um, I don't know. Just a little tidbit of information, if you're wondering. Uh, I promise. Okay, okay, whatever. Just tell me where I need to go. Yep, yeah, that would be it. gonna tell me a story? Oh, apparently he is. The goddess gave the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit that presides over Farron Woods. Well, how, how come I haven't seen this water dragon yet? She left the flame in the care of the water dragon so that one day the mighty dragon could pass it on to the one from the sky. Well, that's, that's us. Oh, you got a hunch, huh? Well, this shit's real, dude. It's a, you're right on. Seek out the water dragon. Well, there's water. There's your clue as to where to go. So, um, I think I did touch upon that door that they show right there. I think I did touch upon that one of the earlier episodes. That's actually where we want to go. Um, here they're going to tell you how to actually open the gate. To open the gate, you have to channel the power of the goddess into the symbol carved on into its doors. Oh, but it isn't so simple. The symbol is incomplete. To unlock the gate, you must make the symbol whole again. So, in order to know what the symbol looks like, you basically have to find that somewhere else in the woods. Uh, you can see, he'll show you where the gate is. It's right here. We're not going to beacon it just quite yet. Um, there, that symbol's actually somewhere else here in the woods. You can see it. Um, and you, you, you'll see what's missing. Oh, what? Now what? Whoa, he's like gray. Very persnickety about manners. So <laughs> watch her persnickety. It's an interesting word. So basically, she's got a temper. She's like any other woman. 
So, ah, uh, she's not that scary. Yes, I know. Can I can I go now? I got things to do. All right, dude. Thanks. Um, so now let's let's try to make sure you jump down where we can actually walk down. Um, usually I would say just jump, but we want to get that goddess cube. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to line ourselves up here with the beacon. See if we can get a good enough view here. Take a look down. And I think we might be okay jumping from right here. Try to straighten it out and jump. Sailcloth down. Perfect. Now we can grab this guy. I want to say I think that takes care of all of them in this specific area of Farron Woods. Could be wrong, but I believe that is it. Um, so, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, on the next episode, we're actually... That's not where we want to go. Oh, he showed us where the other image was. I don't care about the other image. Um, next time, we're going to get going on the uh, next part of the game here. Maybe we'll enter the new area. So I'll see you guys next time. Let's play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword.